Hey everybody, my name is Keisha, so um, formerly known as Miss Key to the Beat, and I wanted to come on and talk about my um, breast cancer diagnosis and how that transpired. So I was diagnosed in March of 2020, March the 17th to be exact. Um, with stage 3B triple negative breast cancer. Um, at the time, I was 30 years old. Um, I just had a birthday, so I'm 31 now, but anywho. <laughs> um, but the story went a little like this. So... I was on my way um, getting ready to go to work and I was I had um, Nicki Minaj yikes playing and I was um, about to get in the shower so I had the shower water running and I felt um, a lump so I was like I freaked out like oh my goodness um so I got in the shower, got ready for work, and I called my OB doctor, and she got me in. I believe she got me in either that same day or the next day. But um, she checked it. She was like, well, it kind of feels like it's a marble, so it's moving, so that's a good sign. So I'm going to still send you over for a mammogram and a um, ultrasound. So, I go do that the next day. It was early in the morning, 7 o'clock-ish. So, I go to the hospital. Um, and I did the imaging. And they, they scanned me. They did the mammogram. Mind you, I'm 30 years old, so I'm not even supposed to have a mammogram. So... I have the mammogram and the doctor reviews it. Um, then they do the ultrasound. So in that process, they say, okay, the lump that you feel is just fatty tissue. But on your imaging, we see something else and we would like to biopsy what we see. So I'm like, oh my God. I start immediately freaking out like, why so okay I come back um uh, so that was I want to say that was a Monday or a Tuesday and the lady said okay well we can schedule your biopsy and she said well what I have open is um the 13th Friday it was Friday the 13th of March and I'm like why and i'm not i don't i'm not the type who believe in superstition or anything but she was like i know it's a spooky day but i think it's a good day and i'm like okay i don't believe in that superstition crap anyway but still you know humanly we you know unknowingly be like oh crap so okay i go in for the biopsy oh my god that was the worst experience ever that biopsy hurt like crap okay oh we so they stick a needle on you about long as my freaking arm to numb you so they numb me do the biopsy whatever whatever so the results took because that was on a friday so the weekend saturday sunday monday still wasn't back tuesday that's when I got the results. So, um, the lady called me up, up to the office, because I work at the hospital where, um, I had my imaging and stuff done, so she calls me from the office to come up to the imaging center, and she sits me in this office, and she said, I am so sorry to tell you, but, um, it is cancer, and I about hit the flow. She said, it's 
is grade grade three so the grade three means that it's aggressive and it's moving fast she could not tell me the staging or anything so i had to make an appointment with a breast oncologist breast surgeon um so i went to see her and they tested they did the oncotypes and all that and they said well it has no hormone receptors so it is triple negative it was stage 3b it was in my lymph node one lymph node um tested positive and yeah so that was a journey so with that so what does stage 3b look like and what is what was my um treatment so i'm in the office freaking out i have my mother and my husband my daughter and my other parents were in the waiting room and it was just like this is this cannot be happening like i'm 30 i'm at the prime of my life and it happened so with this channel i'm gonna dedicate you know um to telling everyone about my um cancer story um my treatment plan how i survived my surgeries what that looked like um and i plan on helping someone because when i saw going through my treatment and my breast cancer plans there were no videos hardly up especially with um, people of my ethnicity it was very hard to find anyone who would open up and share their story or keep up with it but um my goal with this channel is to do that and to educate women with um knowing the signs of breast cancer and what is breast cancer and how can you be affected i mean the statistics are as is that um one in eight of every one in eight of one out of eight women will be affected with breast cancer. So what does that look like? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you. So those numbers for women are very high. So I'm gonna be here, share my journey, share my story to tell you, hey, you know, it can happen to anybody and if it happens to you i hope that i can be a beacon of light to help you with any questions any um concerns but yeah so stay tuned if you have any questions i will love to answer um, i'm going to come back with another video of what my treatment plan looks like what is triple negative breast cancer and yeah so stay tuned like share subscribe and i'll be back with another video all right guys talk to you later hey guys let's talk about treatment so treatment for my triple negative breast cancer one let's go with triple negative so triple negative breast cancer means that there is no hormone receptors on breast cancer. So I don't have um, ER, PR positive or um, anything like that. All my hormone receptors were negative. And with triple negative breast cancer, triple negative is more common in African Americans and Hispanics. I don't know why not saying that caucasian and other ethnicities cannot get triple negative but it is more common in african americans and the hispanic descent women triple negative is very aggressive and moves very fast it is the all breast cancer is bad but they say triple negative is the worst um of the breast cancer types because there is no hormonal receptors because somebody with a hormone receptor like HER2 or um ERPR can take tamoxifen 
or for the five-year peel or things of that sort to help block that cancer from reoccurring. But in, you know, the triple negative world, um, the only thing you have is a knockout punch with chemo and radiation and you pray to God that it does not reoccur. Um, they say triple negative is, you know, is very upfront. So if it's going to reoccur, it's going to reoccur within, you know, those first couple of one or two years. And they say the farther that you are out from um, reoccurrence, like five years, your chances of reoccurrence goes down. So but that's, a, that's a plus side to it. So, you know, the treatment for a triple negative breast cancer, um, my oncologist, because of my age, I was so young, I still am young. <laughs> I'm only 31. Um, I had eight rounds of chemo. So I had four rounds of AC, adromycin, um, also known as Red Devil. And I had four rounds of Dostance Taxol, um, which in turn I went every other week. Um, I went every... So I have treatment on Wednesdays. So um, when I went, when AC started, it was it was okay. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. AC they say is the um, the hardest chemo, but uh. I, I would say with AC, I was more so sluggish and tired and it took me longer to recover from um, than the Taxol. I would say Taxol was harder than AC. Um, with Taxol, I had more bone pain, but I don't know if the bone pain was associated with the new Lasta shot or not, but the new last shot is to keep your um, white blood cells, white blood count from dropping. But with the um, AC, it was, uh, AC was tough, but I, in my opinion, from my experience, I believe Taxol was the worst, but I'll go in details on those later um also with my treatment plan um I, radiation became um optional because after surgery um my uh, my pathology report was clear so once they went in and removed the tumor and the lymph node they did not there was no evidence of any cancer found so praise god i am free cancer free but um yeah so i opted to do radiation i am currently still doing radiation um i actually have two more weeks of radiation left and so far so good i'm just a little tired not much but yeah, that is the treatment plan, and um, I will go into more details with the chemo and the effects and the changes and all that. So if you have any questions, comment below and let me know, and I will make sure I answer. But yeah, that is the treatment plan for a triple negative breast cancer.